March the 31st, 2024. Guys, I'm going to show you an image, but first, let's give credit to Mr. Greg Hogan. This was last night in Middle Georgia. It's Comet 12 P. Ponds Brooks. A lot of people calling it the uh, Devil Comet because it appeared to have two wings or two horns at one point as it was uh, coming in some of the images. It's getting very bright. But again, Greg Hogan, March 30th, 2024, at Middle Georgia. Comet 12P, Ponds Brooks. Let me pull this down. Very bright. Um, it doesn't show exactly the camera equipment he's using here. Very bright comet. And it has, this is kind of a fuzzy one, but it, there's some that from some really advanced telescopes that show multiple gas trails on this thing. And one of the last ones that I saw actually looked like we're seeing part of the comet split. Not sure if it's just a doubling in the image or something behind the comet, but it definitely looks like we've got more than one nuclei. We'll just have to wait and see on that. But let me just kind of go through this. And guys, what I'm going to do is show you on one of the pieces of software that's on the links on the left side of our website at bpearthwatcher.com called the sky tonight i'll show you where you can start looking for this thing that's supposed to be um be able to see it during the eclipse on april the 8th as the uh, area around the sun becomes more visible because the, we're blocking it out in this eclipse then uh, normally you wouldn't see the comet but because of that dimming situation you would the comet is there in the daytime and uh, it's starting to become visible um, just after dark now looking into the northwest but we'll take a look at that but again comet ponds brooks i want to show you another image or two now this is coming from statesville north carolina night before last march 29 2024 john o'neill called the north carolina stargazer and i think he may have a website let's pull that down uh, yes right here at north carolina stargazer.com but take a look at this this same comet and uh, it's, again, you've got some fuzz because it's a ground-based telescope and you've got atmospheric distortion. But it almost looks like you have two nuclei here. Check that out. And you can see here, it, it's not real clear, but I'm going to show you an image here that is clear of these multiple streams. You always have two streams. You have the debris stream that's trailing behind the comet. Then you'll have another stream called the ion stream. And that's coming from the sun. That solar wind, he, even if the comet is not coming at the sun, you see the debris trail following behind it. But then when the solar wind and the rays from the sun hit it, it blows an ion tail directly opposite of the sun. So you'll see one left and one behind it or one right, whatever. But you've got the debris trail and the ion trail behind it. Again, looking at this, I don't know if there's a star in the background here that's kind of burning through the brightness of the comet or that it has split it this the reason i say that is because it both of these are kind of sharing the center of this uh, area around the comet itself a comma now this is from johans hildebrandt march 28th this is out of germany the same comet i'm going to pull it up they're going to take a close-up of it now he's obviously at a much higher elevation or much uh higher grade telescope because of the clarity he's not getting that at atmospheric distortion that we see but let's look at it close now taking a closer look you can see the multiple debris trails here one two three four five and then this more than likely this glow could be the ion tail from the uh, solar wind from the sun now the only thing i can say about this it more than likely because you don't usually see this many tails is this comet is spinning you're seeing in this photograph uh, the debris from multiple rotations still visible that would be my kind of look at this situation I, you don't again you don't usually see that many debris trails unless you're having a splitting of the comet and starting to break apart and again that's what ISUN did and they call it multiple nuclei not sure if that's what's going on here or not that one very inter interesting photograph did appear that we may have two nuclei involved here. Ison had four or five, and if you remember, I'd have to go back and look at some of those images. But I think the multiple debris trail is from the comet spinning. 
Now, this is Sky Live, and again, you can go to bpearthwatch.com and look down on the left side and click on it. And what you're looking at in the gray area here, this is the horizon point. In other words, if you're looking north, I'll pull this down a little. This is the sky as we speak, and this is, uh, again, we're looking north, and Pines Brooks is below the horizon. See it right here, guys? Can you see that? But if we go forward through the night, and all this is going to be visible just after sunset in many places. Now, guys, this is set for New York, and you can come here in this settings right here, looking at Pan Brooks or Pond Brooks, excuse me, and set this for any place on the planet almost. Now, we're looking west from New York, guys, away from the ocean, and the sun is here. Now, if we look for Ponds Brooks, it's right here above it. See that? But now, as long as that sun's up, and that's the point of the video, you're not really going to be able to see it. Once that sun goes down behind, into the west, and guys, this, is, uh, this direction matters for most of North America. You can put in California here or Dallas, Texas, whatever you want to, Canada, doesn't matter, anywhere in the world, and it's going to give you some important information. Again... We zoom this up. This is the horizon, guys. Here's the sun still up, and you've got Mercury is above it. Hans Brooks is here. Jupiter, Uranus is here. You can kind of see that line up. But um, let me get this back in position. Again, looking west from New York, you can set it from anywhere. You can spin this around north, south, any way you want to do it. But, but you can't see it now if the sun is up. But during the eclipse, that's going to change, guys. We're going to be seeing the sun dim down during that eclipse, and that's why they're saying at that time we'll be able to see Ponds Brooks. Now, it will be closer to the sun at that time because it, each day it's uh, getting closer to the sun as the sun goes down. But during the eclipse, that's what they're talking about. We'll be blocking the sun out here, and you'll be able to see it. But now it's visible. Again, you saw images from um, Georgia, South Car or North Carolina, excuse me, and different places around the world. So you can see it at night. They're just talking about the visibility, and it would be an excellent photograph for someone that had the right equipment. Don't look at the sun, guys, whatever you do. And be aware of your pets. Just think about that. I'm going to try to have mine inside during that period of time just so they don't get some eye damage. That's what they're talking about, guys. Pond Brooks, the Devil Comet, they're calling it, will be visible during the daylight, during that period of time, but you can still get some excellent images now. If you get some, you may can just get some blurry ones with your cell phone unless you're at a high elevation. But if you get some, let us know, uh, and uh, we'll uh, try to get them on the next video for this comet. But, guys, we're watching this. It's going to be interesting. I've never seen a comet come through during an eclipse like that that would be visible. A lot of things are pointing to changes in the heavens. We don't know what. I don't want to be a time setter or a date setter or anything like that. But comets, the sun has always been very interesting to me because it's the amazing creations of our Father in heaven and that everything on the earth is basically controlled by our sun every bit of space weather has an effect on the earth's weather you know there's some manipulation but there's going to be manipulation on a much higher level when we start seeing that fourth angel do his deal with the sun we're watching it guys you watch it it's a heads up be safe